Well, we have seen this design before, a box-shaped FDM 3D printer. It looks like a Core XY 3D printer, but it isn't. What it is, I tell you right here. The Elegoo Neptune X. Getting the latest news and update right here on Zachary's 3D Prints. Hello, I'm Zachary and this channel is about 3D printing. With tips, tricks, tutorials, how to review news, anything 3D printing or 3D printer related, you can find right here on this channel. If you're new here and not subscribed, please consider subscribing and hit the notification button to get the latest news right in your YouTube alerts. And if you want to have an inside scoop before YouTube, check me on Twitter, Zachary underscore Bergen. And thanks for being here. Not so long ago, Elegoo released the Neptune 2, a low budget i3 style 3D printer that currently is still hard to get. And now they announced this week on social media the Neptune X FDM 3D printer. Well, in this video I'm going to do a closer look and also react to it what my thoughts are about it. And a little disclaimer, all the specs and the videos that I'm going to show in this video are from Elegoo. Now that is out of the way, let's get into the video. Well, we take a look at the exterior and the design of the 3D printer. And I need to be straightforward with this. The design of this 3D printer looks very similar like the Creality and the 5. The base of this machine consists of a 2020 aluminum extrusion, which I find very thin. The vertical extrusions are made out of the 2040 aluminum extrusions. However, the top is also made out of the 2020 aluminum extrusions. All is in the black color. The carriage runs over the x-axis and the x-axis runs over the y-axis. This machine is in no way a Core XY 3D printer, just a normal Cartesian style 3D printer. The print bed runs over two 10mm smooth rods driven by just one lead screw. On the other side, there is no other support to lift the bed up and down over the Z-axis. Well, talking about the print bed, the print bed has big leveling knobs. And there is a magnetic print surface to print on, which you also saw on the Neptune 2. A flexible print bed that is very cheap. No glass bed used. The hot end is going to be very similar to the one that they used on the Neptune 2. However, this can be changed, but if I look to the carriage, it looks very similar like we saw on the Neptune 2. The X-axis has a belt tensioner, but I don't see any on the Y-axis. If I can suggest a little remark to Elegoo, please reposition the filament spool holder because on the way it is now on the outer left side from the printer there is one big filament spool holder on the left side if you change it to the inside of the machine itself so that the spool of filament is right underneath the extruder then you have a very small compact design where the filament is very close to the left side of the machine. So the electronic box with the display are on the bottom of this machine on the front side. I don't see any power supply unit, but I can guess where it is. It's just behind the LCD touchscreen because I see four screws on the top. And instead of using normal SD cards, this 3D printer uses U-Disc or USB sticks to load the G-code files onto this machine. Well, when we are talking about the electronics of this machine, let's check the specs and the features of this machine. This 3D printer has a printing volume of 220 times 220 times 300 millimeters. The machine itself is 625 
times 472 times 507 millimeters. There is a 32-bit control board on the inside of this machine and I believe that Elegoo uses on this machine silent stepper drivers because the whole printing process is quiet and noiseless. Further, this machine has a faster preheating time and a resume print function. Well, for both power recovery, but also a filament run out sensor. Because when I look on the extruder, there I see a little box and I think that that is the filament run out sensor. So I assume that the specs or the temperatures for the nozzle on the bed are going to be equal to the Neptune 2. But that I will leave open for another video. Well, the prices and the links. This one I don't know. Nothing is mentioned about it. The Neptune 2 looks very similar to the Creality and the 3, but then cheaper. The Neptune X looks very similar like the Ender 5. So I guess that the, this price of the Neptune X is going to be around the 250 US dollars. The links of the video from Elegoo I will put in the description of this video and also for the Facebook group I'll put a link there as well. So to wrap up this video, the Neptune X from Elegoo is going to be bigger than the Neptune 2. But how is it going to perform? What can we expect from this Cartesian style FDM 3 printer from Elegoo? And also, when is it going to be available to actually buy it? Well, we are going to find it out very soon. This video is supported by these awesome Patreon supporters. Lawyer Moses, The Lightspeed and Fix and Do. Thank you guys for your awesome support every time. You can also support this channel by checking the Patreon link in the description of this video. If you're still watching this video, you are amazing. On the end card, there are some recommended videos worth watching. And while you're there, check out the merch in the merch store. Please like this video, share this video on social media, and hey, let's make some fun with 3D printing. Zachary 3D Prints. Bye bye. And also, when is it going to be available? When can we actually buy it? Well, we are going to see it soon here. Zie je dat ik moe ben? Nee, hè, dat zie je niet. Ik ben wel.